Uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to call to order the uh, Carver Conservation Commission meeting of uh, Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. Um, our uh, order of business this evening, our first discussion is uh, Five Johns Pond, a uh, violation. Give me that back. And this was the? This was the way we went out to the vault wall. It was built. Remember we had, we oh. had, we had a call, uh, uh, it came to our attention that we had, um, you know, that there was work going on. Um, soil being pushed down to the pond. Yes. Yeah, and then we did a site visit and we saw the wall. And the patio. And the patio. And, All right. the, and the, the soil that was. Right, all the trees that were behind the tennis court. All right. So um, I wrote a letter and then you, you came. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, I think we all were out there I at think one point. Everybody's seen it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. everyone's yeah. seen it. And um, um, our, the Carver bylaws are that you cannot do anything within 100 feet of a pond without coming to us first. Okay. As simple as that. And anything without, within 65 feet of a pond. Any disturbance, any alteration at all, requires a variance from us. Uh, anything within 100 feet, such as your rock wall and the and the um, and the clearing of trees, but those both of those were most likely within 65 feet. Um, require a notice of intent, and um, with a notice of intent, uh, you have to file with the conservation agent. And we, in the past, we have enabled people to do a notice of intent um, after the fact. Um, but in order to, to do a notice of intent, you need to get a plan, uh, you know, a, a plan from a surveyor with elevations, distances to the water with the 65 and 100 foot um, delineations away from any wetlands indicated on the plans and uh, come back in and, and, um, and make an appointment with uh, Brooke when you think you can have that ready and come back in. Is there anything, I mean, before, is there anything you'd like to say about it? Uh, yeah, um, I'm Tony Lombardo and this is Taylor, uh, Hi. 5 Johns Pond Road. Um, yeah, we did have a couple of things we just wrote down. Um, uh, briefly, we've been there for three years and we love the pond. I think we're on the pond almost every chance we get nearly every day. Uh, and it's in our best interest to preserve the pond wetlands uh, on our property and uh, our abutters property. Um, and nothing we've done in the last, we've been there for nearly three years, uh, has altered, altered or changed uh, anything to do with the conservation land. Um, I did know in your, um, your letter you listed the few things that were uh, the potential violations and we just wanted to briefly say um, that pretty much everything that we've done between the wall and our dock, uh, they've all been, <laughs> these masks are so bad, <laughs> they've all been um, repairs to what was already existing there. Um, we were assuming that because these structures were already there, um, potentially they were already permitted and since we were just doing repairs uh, to these things that, that it, that it didn't, it wasn't going to trigger anything, I guess is what we were thinking. And I, we were unaware, so apparently we apologized for not checking in first. Um, the dock and the wall and the patio above it, uh, the footprint has never changed uh, to the inch our dock is exact. We just pretty much reboarded it. The dock is the same length and width. Uh, we did it when the water was out, when the cranberry growers sucked all the water. Uh, so we really didn't disturb anything. Um, and on the uh, patio and stairs, everything was existing there. They were stairs going down to the water that were really falling apart. I don't know if they were 28 years old, which is how old the house was when we moved in. Uh, but we did just replicate exactly what was there. Um, and that's about it, yeah. Do you have any before and after pictures? Um, no. Um, potentially, we could, potentially we might have some when we were looking at the house. Um, when we moved in. Okay. Um, Eva was already there before we moved in too. That was already, we didn't build that. Mm -hmm. That was already existing. 
existing. And Which, what was that? The gazebo? gazebo was listed as. Oh, okay. About that. Yeah, that, that was like already that was there. A, we didn't build that or anything. Yeah, that, I remember that looked, that looked as though it's been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah we don't go in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, but the, the issue with the soil, that was basically what the call was about, was the soil and the stumps and things. Didn't yes, the call was about the, the soil being pushed into right. the, down the embankment, yeah. um, which is certainly alteration. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, if you look at the, at the Massachusetts um, uh, Wetlands Protection Act, the, the definition of alter it means just that, any alteration, mm -hmm. cutting of shrubs, cutting of trees, um, mm -hmm. moving of, of earth. Any, mm -hmm. Anything that changes exactly what's there is an alteration. Yeah. And that requires coming to us. So, in fact, does a repair to something that's within the 100 feet. Now, and it doesn't mean we're not going to let you do it, but we have to know about things like that for one of the reasons is the fact that Brooke will get a phone call <laughs> mm -hmm. of someone who says some, they're doing something at the pond. Right. So... Now that becomes, you know, all of us need to go and take a look at it, then we have to bring you in. If you had come before us originally and told us what you were going to do and maybe brought before and after photos, um, it would have been a, a lot less mm -hmm. um, of a, an or, well, not really ordeal, but a lot less of an issue. Um, so um, what do we want to do at this point? Uh, um we well, if he, if we want to do an epitaph notice of intent, I mean, he could include, so the soil down, you know, with the stumps, dumped us up, I mean, did you want him to pull those, do we want him to pull those back, or remember I mean, they were on the back I, of the pond? Mr. Germain. I knew you, you, thought, you had a thought about that. I have a big thought about that, and, and I understand where you're coming from. And frankly, if I had just bought that house and there was a patio existing that was falling down decrepit and I decided to go in and rebuild it, I don't think I'd call anybody either. Um, not to say that that's the right thing to do, but I understand. The thing I brought up when um, I, Brooke, and Peg went to that site was everything that they've cleared because of its location. If this commission orders them to remove it, they're going to make a, a worse mess taking it out by the time they bring in machines, because you can't take it out by hand, they're going to make a bigger mess taking it out of there than if they just leave it alone and let it grow. Then all that's going to happen is all that growth is going to come right back and bring it back to what it was before. I'm not saying what they did was correct, but I'm saying that to, in order to, you'll do more damage cleaning it up, in, in my estimation. And I think that it was agreed upon. Peg it's a agreed. Steep slope. It's a Brooke steep agreed. Slope. It's a steep enough slope that by the time you go in there with even a small bobcat or a mini excavator, you can make a mess. If now it's nice, I mean it's it's graded down, and and the overgrowth is gone, and in, within six months of a spring, you'll never know that got graded down at all. It'll all grow back and be what it was, and this lets everybody. The big thing is, it's always the next person that's coming is the the reason that we sometimes act this way. Um, so as far as cleaning up what's down on that embankment, while I don't condone it, I don't think that it's going to be an improvement to have them go in there and remove it. I think it's going to do more damage than if we just let it be and let it come back in its natural environment. I have some pictures that I took on the site. I'm sure you did, too. I think I do. Yeah, that's what um, I'm looking for. As far as the gazebo, that's fine. The, if you were rebuilding what was already there, I get all of that, too. I don't have a problem with a simple notice of intent. If you got some before and after pictures, um, I don't see a big problem with any of that stuff. Uh, I just don't want to see us penalize someone because they didn't know, especially a new right. homeowner buying a house. Right. I mean, I would think nothing of if I bought that, and it's a beautiful place, by the way. Thank you. Um, if I had bought that place and the patio was falling down, mm. And I had a couple extra dollars in my back pocket, and my wife said, I'd like to have this patio fixed. I'd go out there and start replacing the patio. If you didn't change the footprint, and you can show us that, or at least enough to satisfy, then I don't think it's going to be a big problem at all. Uh, the issue that I had was, was where you cleared, um, but I really think that we'll do more damage trying to clean it up 
saver, then you're going to have just letting it go back. Yeah, Mother Nature will take over. Well, she'll bring it right back to where it was. It's not like he cut stumps and, and, and buried them down in there. He just pushed brush. Right. It's natural material. It's no, natural I'm, material. I'm, I'm looking at logs. I'm looking at two-by-fours. Um, did you see those? Well, I got pictures, too. There was a couple, uh, if I may, there was, um, there was some, must have been old construction debris uh, that was in there that was removed. And uh, when we were aware that our, our neighbor, um, you know, was, was checking on what was going on, I was very quick to take off. We, whatever our two by fours were in there um, have been removed. It's just, it's just back further until we can get rid of them. But uh, yeah. there was a couple of two by fours that were either unearthed or, um, yeah. I don't know. They were there, though, yeah. And where, was, where did that See, come We from? went there, there was <laughs> snow on the ground. And of course, Savory goes there when it's <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So where was that soil from? We just yeah, from yeah. up on top of the hill? Yeah, so we had somebody, um, yeah, we had somebody, actually a friend of ours, uh, remove some debris that was there. Um, and I'm not too sure if that was mixed in with the debris or if that, if by what he removed uh, revealed it. I'm, uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah. Yeah, it probably was. Mm -hmm. Well, um, see, I have you, you. Yours is all covered up with snow. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine isn't. <laughs> um, there, there are logs there. There are parts of trees that were are in that in the refuse, and there are two by fours. So, uh, from that standpoint, I think that. Um, those those should be pulled out by yeah, hand. Pull those out. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah, if you I'm can't okay get the logs that. out of there, let the the smaller debris, the leaves and the earth, settle in. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can compact that a little bit so it doesn't it run off into the pond, right. that mm -hmm. would be helpful. Yeah, we could uh, after a you know by hand cleanup, which we already did a little bit. Uh, uh, we could by all means bring in uh, some uh, you know photos showing that potentially some of the two by fours that are gone now or yeah. just to make yeah, it if you just leave the natural stuff down in there take out the stuff you can actually remove without destroying the whole area to do mm -hmm. it so don't bring a machine in but mm -hmm. yeah. you know and just let it go back to nature it'll all come right back up through all that stuff that will actually rot in and enrich the soil so okay so um maybe what we do is give you uh four weeks mm -hmm. to Remove the stuff by hand, the big the logs and the mm -hmm. two by fours, any any kind of construction debris you could find. Try to tamp that the rest of that down so it doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, slide into the pond. Mm -hmm. um, look for any before and after pictures sure. of your of your um, patio and and your wall, and um, come back when we have our meeting on the next one's the third. The, the one after that. Uh, okay, we, when we do the first meeting in April. Hmm? That'll give them a chance in case yeah, we have some. In case it snows. Okay. And stuff. All right. And, we'll and that, all right, that's fine. The first meeting. And then we'll make a determination then if sure. we think that you need an after the fact NOI. Is that okay. fair? Yes. Because yeah. if it was just repairs, then we could maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. Right. And then maybe just even even if you call and have Brooke go out, if you get that stuff done. Sure. Yeah. That, that Savory's talking about and have a call and then, you know, maybe Brooke and Savory can just take a look at it and yeah. might even avoid you having to come in in April. But let's, yeah, let's do that. Good. That gives you, right. you know. Well, I think the board should be able to. Yeah, all right. I think we should have you come back in April for sure. our first meeting. It gives you two months, April. really, to do it, because we don't know what the weather's going to be. Yeah, we don't need no. you going down there and playing so far, so the good. in the right. mud anyway. Right. I don't know what the first, uh, what's the first Wednesday in April? Here? First Tuesday in April is the 6th. Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday, I'm sorry. 7th. 7th. Okay, so April 7th? Is that sure. when it's going to be? Is that how it works for us? Yeah, first and third. First and third. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, the 7th So of April 7th. Sounds good. All right. All right. All right. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Have you a good night. Stuff. You too. I loved your Christmas decorations too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you did a beautiful <laughs> job. And your wall is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, they, you have to say they did do a beautiful job. But yeah. I, yeah. I didn't know if they there was did. a wall there before. We didn't know that. We got no. ducks and we got chickens and we. Right. Got... So, so maybe they. Yeah, I, I would like to see some before and after because the the three questions I had was the the stone apron or or patio is that new or existing. Um, it looked very new. Stone wall, new or existing? Was that slope the same, or was that cut in to make that wall? He well, said he replaced what was there. He so said there he was rebuilt. A, yeah, there was a wall. Did not change the footprint. There is Google Earth history. Yeah. 
so we can we can look ourselves so, so. from I, the top. Decide. I think I did have a, I did find an old plan, you know, in the in the Board of Health files, and I don't think it. Sh I don't know if it showed a wall. I don't think it did, but but they, it wasn't really. There was no. You don't know what the previous it. owner did before he sold right, the property right, either. Right. So now you know. And yeah. they said the gazebo was there, so he so probably did have other other stuff there. I mean, so. It definitely is a backyard designed for entertaining. It's right on the pond. Yeah, right. it's gorgeous. Right. If I had that backyard, I'd be entertained. Yeah. Well, you'd have you to are very, you're entertaining with that. You would have to have friends this first. This is true. Well, I could have You wanted to entertain. You don't this have This is any the friends. abuse I take on the conservation. <laughs> you don't even have any friends. So <laughs> wow. Okay, next Maybe up. You live in Plymouth. <laughs> next up is the um, wetlands bylaw changes uh, for town meeting. Basically, this is exactly what we looked at last year. Uh, Peg, you weren't on the no, commission okay. then. I was but uh, the, the changes that we're uh, recommending are uh, in red. Yep, I like the invasive species. On this, Thank and um, uh, basically I'd say that the biggest change in this is expanding the, um, the no-touch zone from 65 feet to 100 feet. Definitely. Uh, huh? That's what we had said last year, that you needed a variance within 100 feet. Okay, well, then it'll get defeated again at Tommy. And the bog is edge of ditch, correct? Uh -huh. Not edge of bog. Right. Edge of the top of the, 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 the top ditch. Of the right. We took out. Uh, we took out the um, what we presented in 2019 included something where we asked all the growers and farmers to notify us before they did anything, even if it was agriculturally based, and that's what probably killed it mm -hmm. at town meeting. So we took that out. Took that out, yeah. Um, we have to have everything to buy the fifth. What? Uh, Elaine needs everything by the fifth for the warm. Well, I don't know how we're going to do that because we have to, our next meeting's on the third. Now we have to advertise it as a public hearing. Right. And then we have to, uh, we have to uh, present to the select board. Before we can even get on. And we've got 16 days to the no, fifth. No, you won't make that. No. Um, so what I'm not sure that we have to advertise as a public hearing. These are bylaw changes that will be voted on at town meeting. We have to do a public hearing, I believe. I believe planning board has to do it too for theirs. We did. We had to do it last year. and We had to do it the year before. Yeah, well, then any of these zoning bylaw changes that are coming up, these the, with the zoning bylaw committee, they're not going to make it either. Well, I think that what I have to do is I have to uh, talk to uh, the town administrator about uh, putting in a placeholder. I think. Yeah, because the debate itself is until what? No, I think, and you got 30 days. I think that you get a placeholder, any articles or placeholders. I think if you talk to Elaine. Yeah. Because I've got two placeholders in the in the town warrant, and I'm not going to have those bylaw changes ready for the fifth. Right, and this exactly how it's written. This was done last year. This was already in so, town meetings in, in the warrant so, before COVID hit. So I can have a placeholder. These. So to that point, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, was there a public hearing regarding the changes as they were proposed last year? I don't know if we got to that point I don't think we before did. COVID. Okay. I don't remember what we did. It ended up on town meeting floor. No, no it did the not. Previous year. The previous year, but that it oh. was defeated. Then we made the revisions based on what we felt were the oh, okay. items that. So this iteration, I don't believe, got as far as a public meeting last ah, year. Okay. Uh, we can go back and check. No, I just didn't know if we had already put a check in that box or not. That's all. I don't think we need a public hearing for proposed bylaw change because you could do a citizen's petition with 10 signatures and propose this exact document. I don't believe it needs the vetting of a, of a public hearing because well, it's ultimately up to the commission or any board for that matter I will check on that. their bylaw I'll, I'll ask I was told by the select board that it had and I, I don't actually think it does. Sarah just we, Sarah was in the hallway when I was coming in and, yeah I and, talked to her on the podcast. and uh, and she said the same thing that, that I had to have a public hearing because she said planning board has to do the same thing and they're scrambling I, th I think you need to check all right I will do that anyway this is the uh, this is what uh, we had approved last year mm -hmm. to go in front of town meeting, and um, nothing has changed. So just everyone has a copy of it. Um, I, I just did have one question about one of the points on it. Um, it's actually the first, the first one you had uh, in terms of uh, unless the residents, this is page two, unless the residents in the bog 
uh, are on the same parcel of land under single ownership uh, and will remain such. Um, is that, is that anything change if, uh, does it still apply if, uh, for example, if it was the same property was subdivided within the same family? Or subdivided for, for a different purpose? The order of conditions that we, that brought about this change were based on people who wanted to circumvent the 65 foot buffer zone. Gotcha. And, um, we allowed the variance based on the fact that they would not separate the bog from the house, that they would maintain ownership, that the owner of the house would maintain ownership of the bog. And I believe that right. goes into the deed. Yeah. It goes into, it's a restriction. So the restriction goes in, okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, okay. All right. Um, and um, Brooke, I believe um, there's something in here where there is a chart that is needed. Oh, then um, I have to insert that chart, yes. Uh, the the, um, the filing fee chart. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's on page four. Okay. That we need that chart yeah. to, to go along with this. Yeah. And I think that was a, a sliding scale, if I recall. Let me see. Is that for the, um, what do you think? Let's see. It was a filing fee. Plus, a, plus an additional cost to cover administration expenses based on the chart below. So I believe that was a, a sliding scale that based on the, on the cost of the, of the actual project that the fee was higher? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, so, so we need that chart. That chart, yeah. Okay. That needs to be uh, done. Okay. All right, uh, so moving on. Our next uh, discussion is uh, 213 Meadow Street fencing. Anyone here from? Uh... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, that was 230. Oh, yes, I went and took a look at that. It's a huge piece of property. It's like 16 acres. And they have a farm. They have bogs. They're, they're um, harvesting the bogs. They have um, some sheep, some goats. So all, all they want to do is put a fence, another fenced-in area. It's within probably, oh, Lord, like it's up a, above the bogs probably within 100 feet, but it's, it's, it's going to be an open fence. I talked about having the open bottom fence, and it's part of their sort of farm. So I didn't think it was anything they needed to file. So it's more of a corral than it is. Yeah. Uh, it's not yeah. to... And it's yeah, way, it's fence, you know... So to yeah. keep the big animals in, the little ones can scoot around. So. Okay. Yeah. It's a huge piece of property, you know what I mean? So everything's... Yeah, I mean, it's... I didn't see any issue with it. Okay. Okay. Um... Do we want to uh, take a vote on that to, as being a non-issue? I think we'll just let it be. Yeah, let it be the decision um, of the environmental agent that okay. it's a non-issue. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fine. Any any other comments about that? Anyone? No. Fine. Right. No, no agreement it's good with, with Brooke. It's good with me. Okay. The boss has spoken. Yes. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Don't push <laughs> your luck. <laughs> Did you see that before ten in the morning or? Uh, oh, geez. No, it's after. <laughs> no, it was after. Oh, I oh there you go then. It had to be after 10 because <laughs> yeah. she never would have approved it. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, moving on. Next one. Nicholas Christie, uh, deck at 27 Crystal Lake Drive. Yeah. Hi. Sixty-seven. Did you say twenty-seven? It says twenty-seven. Oh, it says twenty-seven. Yeah, 67. Oh. Okay. <laughs> was that wrong in the. Agenda? That must have been before ten that she did. This. I didn't do the agenda. That was Jill. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so uh, yes, yeah, so Nicholas um, came to me. They they um, did some work on the outside of the house. You know them. Anyway, that they didn't need to file for because it was all the on the existing house. But then he, he decided they wanted to do a deck which is on Crystal Lake, of course, is, you know, probably, oh, I don't know, how, how far from the pond would it be? It's probably... 25, 30 feet off the, to the back edge of the house. Yeah, so it's probably, it's got to be within 65 feet of the pond. You know, I mean, Crystal Lake, the lot's pretty small. It's next to the one that we just gave the COC for. You're next to 77. They just finished Valen, that, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. Valen, yeah. yeah. The one that they rebuilt, they kind of yeah, moved it a little bit. Around a little bit, yeah. Maybe they did a real nice job on it. So, so he wanted to do a deck. So um, um, 
he came and asked me about it, and and he wanted to know whether to file, you know, a determination of applicability or notice of intent. So I wanted you to just explain <coughs> to him what what you want to see for a deck. And the deck's going to be on pi 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 uh, pylons, right? That was one posts? of our questions. Just posts, right? Um. As far as footings, yeah. Uh, so actually, we that was one of the questions we wanted to see if we could just instead of disturbing the ground, do the helical ground anchors, which basically screw into the ground. Oh, okay. You know, but so that's less disturbance. They don't disturb right. anything. There's yeah, that's that's better drill a hole in the ground. There's no Asano disturbance too. with those. Yeah. So that's why I didn't know if, if it was something <clears throat> like that. Could he do a determination as opposed to a notice of intent? I think the only question is going. I'm sorry, Mr. Jim. Go ahead. I think the only question is going to be is what are you going to do under the deck? Um, Assume the deck is going to be at the deck is basically. High off the ground. It's not far. It's like eighteen feet. inches off the ground. Okay. It's three steps yeah. up to the existing slider that's there. There was okay. an old set stoop and, and couple stairs coming down. I just uh, the reason I ask <clears> is if it's sometimes some of these houses it winds up being six or eight ten feet up off the ground and then you make the underside a patio. So, right, and oh, they put no. solid, which you know. And they like. put solid. So, yeah, material. this is no, right. Basically, it's on it's on the ground okay. for all intents and purposes. Oh, okay. What's the what's the size of the deck? Well, we had proposed twelve by fourteen as the largest size. We may scale that back to twelve by twelve, ten by twelve, but twelve by fourteen for now. Okay, and it's going to be just standard, um, like uh, one and a one and a quarter planking, or PT, right? Uh, It'd be regular pressure treated standard two yeah by eight construction with five quarter decking PT decking and two by eight yeah correct <clears throat> and space between the each panel for drainage <coughs> oh yeah yeah okay because the thing we, that we just need to make sure is that 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 the rainfall gets through to the ground right keep it pervious correct yeah keep it pervious and then under the deck is now it's just dirt so we figured we should put some crushed stone or something yeah. yeah, you can do that. I mean, that's... That that's would be better. Wouldn't yeah. be any erosion. That, you might actually want to put some fabric down and put some stone on top of that so you don't get any weeds coming up through the deck and it'll still allow everything to be pervious because the fabric is still pervious. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. You know, a landscaping mesh. Mm. Not plastic. A mm. landscaping mesh. Just to keep the weeds from coming mm. through the deck. It's filter fabric. So it's silt soil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... <clears throat> Will how far this off the, how far off the pond will the deck be from the what's the from the farthest so the, point the, of the deck to the closest point the of the, the pond? The back of the house is currently, like I said, it's hard to judge exactly, but it's twenty five to thirty feet depending where the water level is. So mm -hmm. if you throw a ten foot deck on, we're gonna be fifteen feet off the edge of the pond. We would it's twenty cool. feet. The, the yeah, books, Crystal Lake, yeah. They're the, all like that. The distance from the house, back of the house we proposed was twelve. So we we think we're still uh, 15 feet. Is it replacing a current deck? There it was, was no deck. <coughs> it was an old stoop, so to speak, just a little square with stairs coming off. There's a sl there's sliders there that we replaced. So they were there was a wide six eight feet six feet wide the steps. So they could walk out to like a little platform sort of. Yeah, I think at one time there may. No, the concrete goes around the side. There isn't any concrete slabs there. They're yeah, I think it's dirt. Or are they grown they, over? It could be. I don't want to make it tough on him, but I think it would be to his benefit to get a variance to build it. Yep, I uh, think I, so. I just, it would protect you, and also if you decided to sell the house, I think it, and then it puts everything on the up and up and everything on the record. Uh, right. To have it get the approval from conservation so no one can ever come back and you know god forbid five years from now and this board all changes and they want to know well, who the hell told you you could do this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i i agree with that um the other things in crystal lake we require exactly that. and yeah. we've we've asked even though we've granted them everybody in that area because of the way the houses are we've granted the variances um just it protects the homeowner Right. Now, do you have a copy of your uh, plot plan, your house plan? Um, I have a... Well, I submitted yeah. a package. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I did, well, hmm. yeah, see, this didn't really show much. That was the, that was the only one that I had. 
I mean, it's just, just the layout. To see where the I'd have the to get the, yeah, I'd have to get the, the septic stuff plus. Maybe. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the what I was thinking if we because I mean we obviously know it's within sixty five feet, so we right. don't have to have the delineation of the wetlands. No, right. no, you don't need an engineering study. We don't need physical drawings done up by you know an, an engineer or something like that. But we just need to. This, the, even this drawing would be okay if we knew where the pond was. Okay. Right. <laughs> we we yeah. need to know where the pond is in relation to that drawing we, and where right. the septic and a scale. Or, or if I get your septic plan, which we'll have with the I was going to say, we had a septic plan. They came through the, right. the process. And then that will show yeah, that'll work. Those. That'll if, work. If you yeah. could just superimpose where you want the yeah. deck on top of the septic plan. So you could use that for your plan. Yeah. 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 That. We'll make it real easy for you. I just think it protects this board. I think it protects the town and it protects you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, no one can ever come back and say, well, why wasn't this done? We assume that's what we were doing, but we just didn't know what we needed to do to do okay. this. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know if we needed the engineered plans and everything no, else, no, like no, you're I saying. No, not look for at something the like this. You have still, to get all these other people involved. The but they, but right. they still want to have to do a notice. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 And NOI. You still have to yeah. do the notice of intent that you filled out. I can help you finish that. Okay. But yeah, some. Oh, wait, is that it? No, one thing. Um. Yeah, so, but sometimes a requirement with a notice of intent is an engineered plan, blah, 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 blah. But in this case, you probably wouldn't really need one. Right. Because we could, could. Right, and we should probably take a look at it. Yeah, yeah well, you, take a look at it. you guys can do it. I mean, we don't need to have it be a field trip. You guys right. can take a run right. yeah. and take a peek. When they at follow a notice of intent, they, we do, they, do no our regular disrespect, site. Design. They all look the same. I right. mean, it's, it's <laughs> the, I still remember that house on, on, on the pond that we looked at uh, that I thought the driveway went with that house. It was the next door neighbor's driveway, and it was the the house was literally oh the Crystal Lake Lake? nine inches off the lot yeah. line was the corner of the house. Oh, the Crystal Lake Lake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the pond went to the water's edge. Right. But you know that's that's the way it is. They wanted to rebuild that whole house, and of course we said okay, because yeah. that's all you got to work with, you know. Right. So right. I just okay. think it works for everybody if we do it that way. So I'll, I'll contact you, Brooke, yep. and we'll. And because you already started filling it out, I can just give you know we can finish filling filling out the form, and then what you'll have to do is you have to notify the abutters. Okay. So you can get their abutters list from the assessor's office. You can just mm -hmm. go up and say I have a filing with conservation, and they'll give you an abutters list. Um, We're just gonna notify. And across the street, right, two sides. Yeah, it ends up there's hundred feet, only so you one, probably don't. There's only one it. side because the beach is the other side. Of it. Right. Oh, there you go. It's it's well, if it's a hundred feet at Crystal Lake, that may include more people. Yeah, it might. Yeah. But they draw like a circle okay. around. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the assessor's office will determine that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's from the, it's from the corner of your property is where the arc goes okay. 100 yeah. feet. So it may include more, a few more people. It may sound like it's being difficult, but we're really not trying to make it that way. But this just follows what. Then we don't have, the, again, the person coming in behind you saying, well, yeah. geez, you know, you didn't do it to them. How come right. I have to? Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. only trying to put a second floor in my house. <laughs> so should we put this on the docket for the 17th of February? Um, um, well, that's a he's month. Going to need to be he's going to have to file it. It's going to have to be advertised. Right. Well, that's a month from now. So, oh, no. I, yeah, the 17th is four weeks from today. Or do we want to go six weeks to the 3rd of March? How soon do you want to do this? Soon four weeks would be great. Yeah. Four weeks? Yeah, that would be about... Okay. Right, we Put it on that. for the 17th of February. Yeah, I should be able to get the ad in on time. Okay. I can get the advertising out. Yeah. Yeah, we, we do the ad. <coughs> oh, you so, do it yep, for yep. Yeah. We send it to the oh. newspaper and... um Once we file everything. Yeah. With an oh, authorization form and Joan, all that. Joan, I, I have to send out the butter letters, though, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Certified. Yeah, planning sense out there, but it's still, uh, yeah. for conservation, yep, you send out. Okay. Oh, okay. I can get that done. Yeah, Brooke, yeah. Brooke can walk you through the whole process. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, what, it, it should be doable in four weeks. What were your thoughts about heel, helicals instead of footings? I, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I think that's a better solution. As long as you're not closing that in to make it a three-season porch or something like that, uh, the helicals right. will work just fine. Yep. Okay. Are there any uh, any any trees or shrubs in the way right now? Where you want There's to a tree, but you told us not to remove it, and I don't think I want to remove it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if you don't have to. I mean. I'd right. also recommend if you're going to be downstairs anyway, you might as well begin the paperwork and pull a building permit because you're going to need a building permit. Okay. Oh. We yeah. have a building permit. That, you really, yeah, which includes the outside it, stuff, I think, right? It, it, it showed the deck, but they said you got to go to conservation. Oh, all right, then you yeah. already got it. <coughs> oh, okay, so you're okay. Good, yeah. then you're good. Good. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're okay with building then. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right, um, just, I, I have your number. Yeah. Uh, 294. 
Correct. I'll give you a call when you want to come in. I, we can finish filling out. Are anybody else okay. nice to go? Are you around next week? Uh, absolutely. Okay. All right. I'll give you a call. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. See you on the 17th. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Most of it filled out already, so fill out the rest of uh, next up, update DEP site visit. Yeah, what the heck is this? Oh, that's just a letter that DEP sent on the Pine Street project. So yeah. they want to reinvent re the wheel. The applicant for more information. Okay. Uh, based on what they saw at the site visit. All right, there are two things I noticed. First of all, it was sent to Jim Pavlik at Outback. It what? Sent to Jim Pavlik at Outback. At Outback. I thought Art was doing this. Is this Pine Street? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's addressed to Edaville Land Holdings Care of Jim Pavlik yeah. at Outback He's in Middleborough. Oh, wait a minute. He was at the site visit. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. He was. He was. So isn't, actually, isn't Pavlik now working for Cole? Oh, that's why he was in. But yes, I think that's why he so was. So this going. isn't even going to Edaville Land Holdings because they're not the owner of the property anymore. This is the. Yeah, this it's, is it's actually. Oh, Jim is working for You're right. Cole, Pierre. And I, I so thought You was may want to let them know that they got this all backwards, which is typical of the government. Yes. I mean, Arthur was doing working for, you know, John Daly. For John, okay. So that's how he got involved. But yeah, right. you're right. Then I think it seemed like, yeah, oh, back up. All right, so Edaville Land Holdings is incorrect. So well, that, they don't own the property anymore. Right. Even it would though be, Edaville applied for the original variance and was granted the variance, the right. property was subsequently sold. Right. I'll have to ask Arthur if he got a copy of this. I, I'm assuming well, he's Arthur involved. wouldn't have. The only ones who got there? copies was Conservation Commission and Kim Branch. Right. Oh. That's it. Okay. Now, the other thing that I want to uh, just, that I, I read through this, on page two under letter D, it says, if the proposed crossings are associated with a residential subdivision. Now, they went with two driveways to avoid it being a subdivision. I know. So, I don't know if I guess that's up to Jim to to uh, yeah to argue that it's not it's not well, a it says if the proposed if process. I know so they're not so yeah just you know just to make yeah. sure that yeah. that I think I think that's how it's written in the, I'm not sure if that's how it's written in the is that how it's written in the regs maybe? and that's why he's quoting the regs is can you see that let them let them yeah I think it it's but I think you're right. I think that's, I think they just have to argue that it's not. Well, that was the reason for the two driveways. And wasn't she, yeah. uh, maybe because Jim, didn't Kim Branch bring that up? That it was, mm. a, you know. Maybe. Subdivision and. Well, they were trying to call them roads. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's the water quality um, regs that say that if it's associated with a residential subdivision. Right. Mm -hmm. That came out of that. So that what they were saying is you need a water quality permit if, if it's associated with a residential if. subdivision. Right. If but it's, it's it, based on our planning right. board, it's not. Right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. They're going to have a hard time with stream depth and velocities also, but we won't get in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, next up, request for extension, 14 Andrews Point Road. No. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, just real quick. Regard, oh, sorry. Regarding this Pine Street business, is, is it now out of our hands yes. now and forevermore, or is this coming back at some point? It, well, it could, what, what could happen is it will... They're going to issue a superseding order of conditions, which could basically, which could agree with what we decided. You know, in other words, approve it and maybe with all this extra stuff. But no, it's it's going to have, it's going to have a superseding order of conditions as opposed to a regular. At this order. point in time, we're out of the loop, though. Yeah, no, I was this just wondering what, like moving forward, I was just wondering what our collective duties are to this. You know, moving yeah, forward. nothing right now. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other comments, questions about this? No. All thank right. You. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut, you know, move on. I think so if quickly. they blow us out of the water with this, though, we're done, right? This is, they supersede us, they supersede yeah, us. Yeah. The next step for uh, Cole would be court. Yeah. Right. If, if Cole doesn't agree with it, then he goes to court. Or There's him, nothing him we ranch, can do. Kim Ranch could. Uh, right. But there was really only one area that was under question, and that was that <clears throat> culvert on the north side. Right. Yeah because they didn't indicate the, the outflow. Right, right. Uh, and uh, the, the uh, buffer zone And didn't show outflow. the bank and that kind of yes. stuff. Yes, yeah. And that was the only area that yeah. really they had a question yeah. about. Yeah. We'll see where it goes. So, okay. Um, she, she may very well appeal it again. It's her prerogative. I don't know. Okay. In other words, if they get the permit from DEP saying okay, 
they may very well appeal it again. In which case, it'll go to Boston and it'll be a while. But no matter yeah. what, it's out of. I just, you know, it's yeah. Okay. Well, I, I just know a lot of land, a lot land of, courts already told them don't come back. Yeah. Land court, right? But yeah, the, the adjudicatory hearing is still DP. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Not, I mean, not not to turn this into a teachable moment or whatever, but with future future cases, um, <laughs> it just seemed the the uh, the actual the actual designs had uh, altered every other time. We we'd either go out there or follow up, and I've seen this happen with other cases where do, we do a drive by of a place that we approved a variance, and then all of a sudden. Everything's been cleared out, and it's sort of out of our hands now whether we approved it or not. And um, you know, so like this this northern this northern dr driveway road whatever <laughs> thoroughfare, um, it's it's exponentially wider now. It will be if this all gets approved than what we initially when we were given plans as to what it what it was planned to be. It was only going to be 18 feet in the original plans. I yeah, know. they're There's going to be no clear. Track. They're going to be clearing out a lot further, further west and north of where that culvert is being extended, based on the last walkthrough we did. I didn't get that impression. I didn't either. I, was, I, I, I think you're talking about the south side, where the embankment is. No, the north side. Uh -huh. I didn't think they had room to do that. I thought they were right at the They had no line. room to do that. That's why I was. Yeah. That's why my eyebrows yeah. went up, and so did the you know. No, I I didn't see any changes to the the plan that other than the 18 feet, and it was only at the culvert area where that was already 15, and and uh, they had to move it out to 18. True on the plans, but when they were walking through and explaining what it was going to be, and even what Art explained it was going to be, I can, I don't need a tape measure to know that that that, that number that number is far more than 18 feet. Uh, well, the, the bottom line is we approved the plans and no, any variation just, from that is, is subject to our scrutiny. And right. No, exactly. I'm just, I'm just, uh, want, want to. All we can do is approve the plans and then unless we're going to camp out on the site, you know, we have recourse but right. in the back door where we refuse to issue or argue a certificate of occupancy or a completion. Uh, OOC, yeah. or order of conditions. Right. Yeah. Yeah, certificate right. of compliance. They, because it was until it's corrected. Right. But, you know, we have to take the people at their words. If this is what you say you're going to build and we give you the okay to build this, then when we come back in and find that your 18-foot driveway is now 47 feet wide because you want room to turn around, you know, now we have an issue. Say. Right. 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 Exactly. Now and, we don't issue. Yep. And they would need the order of conditions to sell that property to a homeowner. Or so that would, that would happen quickly. And remember, we did a, remember the doggy mall with the parking lot? Yeah. Yep. We made them take it out. Yep. Yes, we did. Yeah. Take out the parking lot because it's bigger than what the plan showed. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other comments, questions? So we still keep some teeth into those approvals yes. based on the end only, result. Right. You can only do so much monitoring while they're yeah. hoping. Yeah. Hope well, but they got to come in and get the OOC, like you said. And yeah. So then right. there's usually a site visit. Yeah. And, you know, when we see things that aren't the way they're supposed to be, then we pull back. <coughs> we either fix it or we don't grant it. Right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Request for extension, 14 Andrews Point Road. Yeah, that's uh, Jeff Merritt's yep. project there. But, yep. He, they just think, you know, how things get held up and stuff. So he, um, so they need this extension. Nothing's changed on the plans, but they just have to extend that's the That's the one he's closing in the porch? No, no, this is the this, whole new that's house. moving the house. Oh, 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 uh, entertain Make a motion. motion. We approve the uh, request for extension for 14 Andrews Point Road, DEP SE 126554. Do we have a timeline on the extension? Uh, that, that can go for um, three years. Three years. For three years. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Whatever it takes. You can Do we have a second? Second. second. All right. It's been moved and seconded that we uh, grant the request for extension, uh, DEP SE 126 554, for a period no longer than three years. Yeah, All those I mean, in favor? 
Basically, the first one. Right. The first order was good for three years. It's been that long. Since and he's, he's not been opposed. Fighting the thing. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Approve unanimously. Five zero. <coughs> Here you go. I left the top one for the chair. The second one for the vice chair. You got to print your name. That's new. It's because nobody can read the scribbles. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> All right. Uh, minutes. To be read and approved for <coughs> December 16th. Mm. These look good to me. Yeah, I would have liked a little bit more discussion on the um, Center Street thing, but we have the video for that, so that's okay. Which one? You want to Center Street. 129, sir? Yeah, well, he's trying to say that this is grandfathered and all that. There's a little more detail that's oh, 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 missing oh. out of this, but that's... Well, he's me. coming... They had to go... They, they went to zoning. That's why they wanted to be continued to the third. Okay. So they're going to zoning to try to get that the other setback. What are we going to do? We'll wait and see, throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks? Is this well, going to go back to this again? Well, they're coming back February 3rd. On February 3rd, and they're going to change the plan, you know, the, how we talked about it. How we Provided did. zoning, let's say. Provided zoning, yes. So are they going back? So by the time they get here on the 3rd, they'll know if they get in the zoning. Yeah, but are they going to zoning saying conservation's forcing us oh, to do I this? Oh, don't, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Because we're not. <coughs> this is what was done. This was done before with, an, with another applicant where they yes. sat down and, and accused the Conservation Commission of creating their hardship. Actually, what he had said was that he felt that there was something grandfathered in that would allow them closer anyway. Right. Uh, an old, old. old deed or something. Yeah, like closer that. to the, the property line or whatever. Yes. Back. Need, right, right. Yeah, so that the the setbacks would be, the a smaller setback would right. be grandfathered, and that way he could get a father away from yeah. the well, a father outside the sixty five. I'd like to let, I'd like to ask the chairman to notify the zoning board chairman that this is not a hardship created by conservation. Since I'm not down there, I don't. When is, do you know when the ZBA meeting is? That's Stephen, I, right? I don't know, yeah. I'm not sure when that the ZBA meeting is. Stephen Gray, get a hold of Eric Mueller, let him know. So you're thinking that they're going to go to zoning and say... Well, I think that that's, the, that's, the, that's what I'd do. Yeah. I'd go and I'd say, hey, you know, we went to conservation and they said uh, no, and now they want the house put here, and right. it's because of them that we're in front of you guys. Right. But I think Savory's right. I know they, he said that they thought there was something grandfathered. Yeah, he's trying to say that the whole thing is grandfathered as a buildable lot regardless of any of the regulations because uh, it went back into 200 right, years ago right, right. before any of these regulations took effect. Yeah. Yes, but he also said that he felt that, um, that there was something that would allow them to move the, um, the setbacks to... to uh, have less of a setback than uh, is currently I required. That part. I remember asking him if he could look into moving the house out and then he'd have to apply for setback variances. Yeah. That we discussed. Right. But yeah. I don't recall him saying it was grandfather to be able to move He was going to investigate. Him. He was going to investigate okay. whether there was yeah. a, I think a, I that. a setback issue that, was, uh, um, allow, that would allow him to move it closer without zoning board of, of appeal approval. Yeah. I do not see a ZBA meeting on the calendar for this, this month or next. Oh. Yet. Huh. Well, typically it's the So they may they may the want to continue again then. It's the last of the month? Usually it's the last of the month that they're gonna do it. Well the reason you want today's to the twentieth. C O A check with Jill when you yeah. and, oh, and he, yeah, he thought. HCC he planning also. planning board, no no Z B A. Nothing for February. <laughs> no. See it in the calendar. All right. Um, that's not unusual, though. So oh, he may have to continue again. Well, that's, he doesn't get on. All right. I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve the minutes. So moved for December 16, 2020, Second. as written. Second, Jim. 
All right, it's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of December 16th. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, approve unanimously. For the Crystal Lake, when did, he, when did we have him come back? 17th. 17th? February 17th, he's okay. coming back. So that answered the question on 129 Center Street. Was this story on Wenham Road? Can you do it again? I think they're pretty much going to not even buy the property, but they, the person who was going to try to do something there, you know, has been just kind of not making any decisions and trying to figure out if he can do something if the, now that the bog is wet. Can he, you know, since he can't do a solar thing, could he do something else? But it, it, he hasn't quite figured it out. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, what do we have on for the third other than uh, Center Street? We have uh, Crane Brook. Crane Brook. What's going on with Crane? We're going to have them come in and talk to us about the culvert. The culvert that they plugged up. It's the dam they put in? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I, I mean, yeah. I spoke to her and she was, you know, Kind of arguing with me, and you know, we don't. I think want to we were swamp. pretty lenient the last time. We don't want to swamp in front of the the restaurant. We, so the the water's fine. John Mason, we came to an agreement, and John Mason's fine with it. And the lady downstream is stealing all the water. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I don't. <laughs> but uh, you know, we'll we'll talk about it next week. But uh, you know, my feeling on that is that. Uh, whether or not she has an agreement with John Mason is irrelevant. Yeah. They broke the law. Yeah. Simple as that. And it's got to come down. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Time's over. It does. Hmm? Twice. Yes. Well, yeah. Yes. And we were pretty lenient. But this, yeah, this is pretty egregious. Uh, putting a permanent dam across a river I know. Is, is, is not, not bil building a river. storage shed close to a pond. <laughs> it's two different things. Oh, yeah. It's not their river. It's a water supply. Yeah. It is. It is. Um, so. Well, they claim they have water rights. They claim. In their D, they have water rights to that pond. But they are, are, there is a, we, did you t talk to John Mason at all? Did you reach out to him? I haven't there? talked to him since, since then. Okay. No. Because there is a there are deed restrictions with seven growers right, about right. water rights. I remember, yeah, from the pond. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, to adjourn. I will entertain that. <laughs> second. Second. All right. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Did you get everything? Aye. 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 And we're out. Thank you. What's happening at 27 Wenham? I didn't.